Hey everyone, Steph here and welcome to Vermilion Overview. Well, this should be an interesting experience for me as someone who is so highly gifted in the stickman art that I can't wait to open a gallery of it. I believe I remember a period on Reddit when those kind of apps were popping off, though Vermilion is the only one that made to the official store. I definitely think Quest is a perfect platform for experiences like that to thrive, so I'm keen to check it out. So Vermilion is a painting simulator where you bring out an empty canvas with various colors on the side and just start painting, unleashing your inner artist in the simulated workshop or using your own environment through pass-through. I'm definitely not gonna record AR today since it's such a drag so we're staying in the virtual reality. I'm very much curious about the mechanics implemented here. For someone that's not into painting at all, this app could be mind-blowing. I can't really imagine how you'd even paint there. You can start from scratch from your head, bring out a browser to have a reference or even put a sketch on the canvas to paint along the colors and stuff. You can even mix your own colors and create whatever like to me it seems like an instant hit since all the tools are presented to you. It's up to you to decide what you want to do. Way way back in the day I was obsessed about pottery and just creating various vases that I wish I could 3D print it and put it in my apartment but unfortunately a feature like that wasn't provided. Vermilion however has it included either creating an image of your design or an actual 3D model of it. I have a weird feeling I'm gonna be obsessed about it as well. It's just if you're not dealing with anything messy or providing products needed to do anything like that a win already. Like you can just focus on painting and your creativity. Just like with pottery experience, it would be nice to have some goals or like missions to complete. It might be purely a simulator but giving a task to paint, I don't know, Mona Lisa or something would be a fun addition to have some gameplay going on. I'm getting more and more excited about it so let's just go painting. Well, 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 seems like a very Parisian studio. Manor, loft, pass through. What's left? Ah oh no, manor is fine. Hold trigger on your right hand and I'm at the floor. Release to jump to the target. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I wish in every game we would have smooth turn, but I'll pass it here. Grab the easel by one of the handles on the side to move it to where you like. Easel? Uh huh. <laughs> there you go. First you have to prepare your station. <laughs> Grab the dagger brush. What's that? Okay. Some brushes can be scaled. <laughs> Alright. Squeeze the grip and move and turn your right hand to change your hold on the brush. Ah. Pick up the palette. Load the brush by pushing it into paint and swirling it around. Oh wow, the precision. <laughs> to get the best result when mixing, clean your brush before loading another color. You can clean your brush by swiping it and drag above the brushes. <laughs> you can also clean your brush instantly by using A. But what VR would be if that's the case? <laughs> you can undo your last actions on the palette using X. Okay, how many? Not many. <laughs> you can reset your palette to what it was originally by using Y. Cool. What's a knife brush? Nothing resembles a knife here. And I'm a cook. <laughs> Try making green. Well, we have, no? I guess we need something lighter, but I don't know how. With yellow, maybe? Oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> oh, damn, I need to know the RGB palette, but I don't know the <laughs> mixing colors. They should teach it in school or something. Then create your first canvas. You can resize it by grabbing the corner. Okay, then accept it by placing your hand in the green check mark. I'll let you experiment with different brushes for a while. Come back when to me when you're ready for the final steps and you will unlock the browser. <laughs> well, first of all, we need some. What did the Barbara say? Something is something white. <laughs> I don't remember. Let me use this. Perfect. Oh, damn. Ah, it uses the paint. I mean, obviously, <laughs> but it's not like permanent. <laughs> I love the sound effects. <laughs> How will I get rid of those, like, you know, strokes? I can't, like, cover it. Oh my god, it's so bad. Because it's so precise, I have to, like, really dig it in. <laughs> I'm not sure if that makes sense then to do it. I guess the canvas is already white, so I don't need to cover it. 
I hope so. <laughs> All paint also mixes on the canvas. Use this to your advantage, for instance, by first painting the sky white and then going over it by with blue. Okay, so that will be the sky, some blue. <laughs> I'm no painter. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty dirty. Oh, that's too blue. What, like something with strokes? This could be fun. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> there are also layers, but that's too advanced for my ass. Okay, we can do that. Oh, okay, that's fun. The bucket of paint thinner is not for cleaning the brush, but rather for filling the paint. Swirl the brush in the bucket and mix paint thinner and color on the palette to get transparent washes. Yeah, but I mixed green there. Oh, it's like that. That's so interesting. I leave you with a list of suggested videos to start with. Cool. So this is a playlist. We can search for things. We can also unload painting. Oh, that someone did. And claim as it's mine. <laughs> Let's do... I guess Mountain Summit by Bob Ross is very classic. Titanium White. <laughs> so he mixed dark blue and black, right? Well, I covered the black. <laughs> Perfect. Well, <laughs> my sky is depressed. Fuck! <laughs> what the hell? Uh oh, -uh, I fucked up. It is kinda later. It is a nightmare. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Well, my sky is very cloudy today, so... Wait, he has a horizon in the middle. Why it's like that? Ah, oh, here we go. That is not blue. Oh my god, okay, sure. <laughs> I'm trying. I mean, it's better than nothing. I wish I would be so much more talented with this. I have an amazing mountain going on. I hate black, it like mixes with everything. What the fuck am I doing? Hmm, <laughs> I guess thinner would be for like shadows. How does he do that? Okay. Oh, that looks actually pretty good. Eh? He has something here going on.
A water? I guess my painting would be more abstract than his. <laughs> That's how I can explain what I'm doing. Like you would see without glasses. <laughs> uh, I need to move it because my hand hurts. Oh, then my fucked up. <laughs> okay. I have to start using more wash though. This is not the correct brush. I need to be like very skilled in mixing colors to be a good painter it seems like. Maybe it's common sense for someone but not for me. Oh my god Bob. That's a nightmare. <laughs> oh wait, this is like a reflection of the water. <laughs> so I need to create like a horizon here. <laughs> Something to save this mess. I think that's how I don't like mix things. I just stroke and then... Yeah. That was my mistake. I'm exhausted. Is painting that hard? <laughs> well, that's not gonna work, me that. <laughs> Perfect. Wait, are you done? Oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad knowing that I have literally no talent in painting and I just do stickments. I mean, okay, the mountain actually looks like a mountain in the sky. Eh, fine. I don't know what happened with the lake here. It got swallowed by trees. I feel like I can recreate that with knowing how to use properly the brushes and just like the strokes. I think the precision on the stroke is very important. And then just cleaning out in between of just 
painting. That was my mistake. Honestly, it could be worse, but it's not that bad knowing my skills. I will happily export it, like just leave it like that as a proof of my work. The applications seems perfect to me. Like I can't really tell because I'm not like a pro painter. There are some things that I don't even know what is for. The tutorial is there, things are explained. Just practice and practice and maybe one day we'll see each other in the gallery. <laughs>